Welcome to day six of our Wolves piece for January challenge. And we've only got four bars to do today um, and they're quite gentle as well. Um, they start with the words piumoso, which means more movement. Um, it doesn't mean get faster. It means be a bit faster than we were, but then maintain that. So we're not getting faster through this we just got a little bit more movement, um, but we keep it steady at this new movement, okay? And what you'll maybe notice if you're looking at the music, we've got a bar with four beats in, followed by a bar with five beats in, back to a bar with four, and then onto a bar with five. Don't worry about that, it's just a very steady crotchet beat or quarter note beat. Keep that really even, and it will fit together really well. Um, it looks very busy, both hands are playing at the same time, but they're playing the identical fingering and the identical pattern of movement. So again, that's actually quite straightforward. And we start with our right hand on finger four on the D just above middle C. And then if you put all your fingers on in a row, so we've got four, three, two, one in a row, D, E flat, F sharp, G. And we'll do our left hand at the same time because it is the same pattern. Left hand starts with our fourth finger on the black F sharp and then four in a row, okay? And uh, we've got these two quavers followed by a crotchet followed by a minim. So if we go one, two, three, four. Okay? Da da dum ba. Okay? We're mezzo piano with a bit of a crescendo. We're just crescendoing up to the highest note of this little phrase and then we'll come back down again. So having done that, I personally would try and go underneath. So before you play the thumb, a bit like a scale, go underneath with finger four to the very next note and then get four in a row again in both hands. So the top hand has got finger four on an A, reaching up to thumb on the D. Left hand's got finger four on a C, reaching up to thumb on the F sharp um, and carrying on. Okay, I'll just play that through together the two bars so that you hear it properly and then I'll just quickly talk you through that five four bar. So three four. Okay so in that five four bar uh, the bar with the five written above the four in the sheet music meaning five crotchet beats or five quarter note beats in the bar you've got four fingers on in both hands you've got a crotchet then you've got a quaver B moving straight onto the C. That's then tied to the next note, so you don't play the C again. Um, then we go all four back on, and we go one, two, three, four, okay? It's written like that because it's easier for your eye to see the pairings um, and the grouping of the notes um, landing with beats where beats should be. Um, so it would have been possible to also just write a crotchet there instead of that C, or write a quarter note there instead of two tied eighth notes. So we could have written a crotchet instead of two tied quavers, um, but that would have messed with your brain for keeping track of where the beat is. So it's a very visually good way, but you just need to remember, and maybe you could put a little line through it with your pencil uh, through the second note, just to remind you you're not replaying the same note again, it's just held. So beat wise in that, um, it's one, so one and two and three and four and five. Do that again. Thum, bum, bum, bum. One and two and three and four and five. Okay, so put that together from the beginning of that section. And then these two bars happen identically again. So actually I'll play all, all of today's four bars for you, okay? So three, four. Okay, um, so we have the four notes. We cross under like we're doing a scale, get all four back on. And then before we play our top thumb, we've got all four back on to go back down. Then we jump, and we jump back to the exact same starting notes. Cross under, four notes on, and then everything back on. Okay, I'll play that one final time for you. One, two, 
So quite a straightforward day if you don't get worried or anxious about seeing that 5-4 and seeing that tied note in the middle of it. Okay, well done.